The build up to London 2012 just went by so fast. It was a bit of a whirlwind of events from qualifying for the Olympic Games to being there still on the start line. It, it turned in 21 and I wasn't necessarily expected to make the Games. So to be there and competing was just almost a dream come true from a young athlete in the sport to being able to make my first Great Britain international and to find myself at the London Olympic Games was pretty special. For me, it was realising a childhood dream, representing Great Britain at an Olympic Games and for that to be a home Games was something I never imagined would be possible. So for me, it was about going in there and putting my best performance in, soaking up the experience and seeing how good an athlete that I could be. And yeah, to go to an Olympic Games as an athlete, it's a pinnacle of sport. So for me, it was that was the dream come true and it was how much better could I be. By that point, the nerves were gone, but I was almost overcome with emotion of realising and achieving that dream, realising what I'd achieved. Being stood on that start line of an Olympic final at the age of 21 just seems totally surreal. And just the atmosphere in that stadium and the crowd, knowing that my family was in the crowd as well, cheering me on, it was a really special moment and one of which I'll never forget and even 10 years later will forever be on the greatest achievements of my life. Going into that race, I had no idea that in the preceding years following the race, there would be four athletes banned on doping allegations. And going into that race, I was a young, naive 21-year-old athlete who wasn't really on the start line looking at athletes thinking, are you here clean? Yeah, for me, crossing the finish line, I was just exhausted. I'd done three really fast rounds in six days. I ran a personal best to make the final, so I could have done no more. So in that final, I was just really exhausted. At the time, I wasn't really aware of what was happening. I was a very inexperienced athlete. It did take quite a long time, unfortunately, for those athletes to be caught. The gold medalist was caught, I think, in 2013, but it actually took a number of years for the other athletes in the race to be caught. So it really did almost drag out for an extended period of time till the official results were actually given. And I think it probably took about four or five years for me to get a certificate to say I finished seventh. It was incredibly disappointing, really sad and really frustrating that so many athletes would disrespect the sport in such a big way. I mean, officially I am seventh, but there was two other athletes in that race who have actually got doping allegations to their name at other stages in their career, just not during that 2012 Olympic final. And, and for me to think that I was stood on the start line with four to six other athletes who at some stage in their career are drugs cheats, it's really sad and disheartening to think that they would do that and disrespect the sport in such a way like that and prevent other athletes from making the semi-final, prevent other athletes from going into that final and really damaging other athletes' Olympic experience. London 2012 really opened my eyes to the world of sport and the pitfalls. I was aware of doping in sport. I'd heard previous stories from previous years in other um, events, other athletes, other countries, and hearing different stories and how it affected other athletes. You just never think it'll affect you in such a significant way. And it was a really big learning curve for me. Doping in sport is incredibly damaging on many levels. I think for the athletes themselves, it's taken away their performance and what their performance could be. It's affecting the athletes mentally walking off the track wondering why couldn't I beat that athlete why couldn't I keep up with that athlete athletes need to be educated and but they need somewhere to go if they're unsure about something they need somewhere to go where they can ask the questions because it's better to ask the question than leave it unanswered and then be a bit unsure and a bit worried about what you're doing I think it's really important that all athletes of all levels of abilities have access to clean sport information I think unfortunately the 2012 Olympic final will always be viewed in a bad light. However, I would like to see the positives taken from it, that there were other clean athletes in that race who have gone on to have successful careers, but also that it has shone a light on doping and sport. 